And if you ask me if you think if I think we're going to get through, I, I just don't know. Unfortunately, I really just don't know. Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Rebuilding Bolton. If you're still enjoying it, drop a like. That'd be lovely. So... We weren't really expecting to find ourselves in a position such as this. Um, well, actually, I suppose we kind of were. I think we only really started to hope for a, a brief minute. And I still think we've had a bloody good season. 91 points is a pretty good response. Just wasn't quite good enough. I still believe we're better than all the other teams in the playoffs. And that gives me hope that we can get through, quite frankly. And we're just going to jump straight in now and get into these games against Stoke City. They only just scraped into the playoffs, but their form is... It must be ludicrously good. It's not bad, is it? Like, Although, to be fair, Peter on a great side. Hull, roll them though. 3-0 win. We couldn't beat them. They drew with Reading. So do we. <laughs> beat Sunderland, beat Palace as well. Beat Birmingham, beat... Bur I mean, they've literally beat Palace, Birmingham and Burnley in their last three matches to get into the playoffs. That's insane. Scott Parker has got Stoke City playing pretty bloody good football. So, today, what do we do? I'm honestly... Do I even... I mean, we can't play Bree because he's not available. I just don't trust this. Part of me actually wants to put Lawrence in there and just play O through the middle like that because I just don't trust De Silva at the moment at all. And Bree's not going to be back for the playoffs. I don't think he'd even be back if we made it to a final as it goes. And I think that might be our best bet right now, just to let Henry Lawrence play there. They're in extraordinary form. They've kind of come from mid-table mediocrity just to sneak into the playoffs on the final day of the season. They hadn't been in the top places since the very beginning. I think the key thing with this game is to just be in the tie going into that home game at the Unibol. That, that's really all that matters to me is to just, just don't go here and like lose 3-0 or something. That would be the worst possible result, but they're in great form right now. But one thing I have seen from us is... Against some of the bigger sides, we do often turn up. Uh, but against Rotherham, we just absolutely shat the bed. And I do wonder if with James Bree and our team, with the right lineup, maybe that would have made all the difference for us. I don't know. It's really hard to say. We still had chances against Rotherham and didn't take them. And that's what it comes down to at the end of the day. You've got to take your chances. And we must do that in the playoffs now. And, oh, tipped over by Ziga. Still doing a great job. He's certainly not at fault for any of the things that gone on. I mean, who knows what would have changed had Temenushkov's goal early days against Rotherham gone in you know that ball that rolled along the line if that goes to the back of the net who knows what happens at that point but at the end of the day nothing because we are not in the Premier League as things stand we've got to fight hard to achieve such a goal I mean it would be extremely sweet were we to actually go up through the playoffs in the end of it anyway but it just makes it so much more dangerous strong start so far from Stoke City as well which is the last thing we needed to see really O just isn't as good in this position. But hey, it's getting him some game time. Low Everton driving forward, doing what he wants to see. Porteous, he's got support out wide from Lawrence, who really should be making a run inside, but there you go. And uh, yeah, that, that was a strange piece of play from us, to be honest. Ben Woodburn, plenty of defenders around, should be able to get a tackle in relatively easily. Just going to allow him to come past one, two, three of our defenders. Any plans to do any def- What the hell? There's so many chances to put a tackle in on him, and then they wait till he's in the box and then hack him down. Idiot. Totino steps up, and Ziga can't keep it out, and it's Stoke City 1, po Poland? Bolton nil. I don't know. They only have themselves to blame for that one. Uh, they have so many opportunities with which to either foul him or win the ball off of him, and instead they wait till he's in the box to do it for some reason. We just seem to have lost all our mojo now. Uh, the failure to get automatically promoted seems to have cost us all of our confidence as things stand. Uh, we've had no shots in the first 32 minutes here at Stoke. Obviously, they're a good side in good form. Again, we're letting them go through. Right, get to it, Low Everton. That's better. Oh, uh, Henry's just glizing, gliding through people. We're just refusing to put tackles in on Stoke City players at the moment. They're moving the ball around very, very far. How? How? It's in between your legs, sir. Just move one of the legs. Well, I mean, that might be the worst half of football I've seen from us all season. Pfft, what? I'm amazed it's only 1-0 at this point. We've shown nothing going forward in that first half. Thank God it's only 1-0, and it would only take a... Stoke are looking bloody fantastic under Scott Parker, though, I've got to say. Lacazette Roche. But it's still only a one-goal deficit. That's the key. Lawrence. Oh, the run was made. This is better. Get a bit more of the ball. Nobody's dropping deep to find the... Oh, my God! I... I don't know. I mean, you can't legislate for that. Like, what is he doing? I get that there's, like, not a huge amount of passing options, but probably don't pass to the one guy who's most definitely marked. 70 minutes have elapsed. Uh, we are still yet to have a shot. Um, I don't know. Like, there's only so much you can legislate for, but us not having a single shot 
is not one of those things I would have expected going into this match, if I'm honest. Like, we've had some poor performances at times this season, but there's never been the, we've not had it. Oh my God! I mean, that could have been three. That honestly could have been three. I mean, talk about when you need it most. We come up with the worst performance I think I've seen in the entire save. That's just spectacular work from the lads. There was Lacazette wrote, oh, what a stop from Sluger. I mean, that was our first shot. On, the first shot of the game comes in the 76th minute. Imagine if that had gone in. <laughs> Booties cross for Maywa. Oh my God, and what a stop. Bloody hell, we have actually had, we've woken up. Albeit only from a couple of set pieces there, but we very nearly could have had a goal there. And it's through for Virtue. Great, great blocks. Multiple good blocks there. Well, Stoke City 2, Bolton 0. That might well be the worst performance I've seen from us in the entire save, let alone in this season or anything. The worst performance I've ever seen out of us. I mean, we've basically got zero chance. Coming from 2-0 down in a playoff is almost impossible, particularly as now we have a less rest time and nobody looked up for it. I, they just completely couldn't be bothered, could they? Right then, we're back. Um, so, Derby also won 2-0 in their first leg too. So, we were the two, in theory, better sides out of that and have both come away with 2-0 defeats. I can't imagine Birmingham were as bad as we were, but you wouldn't have predicted that at the start of this. But Stoker in unbelievable form. We have to do something here. And if you ask me if you think if I think we're going to get through, I, I just don't know. Unfortunately, I really just don't know. It would take a mammoth effort for anything to change right now. So I am going to... The first thing I'm going to do, though, is not play Lawrence there. We're going to bring De Silva in for O. I'm tempted to actually start O, potentially, up there. And just give a slightly different option and maybe bring Low, Low Everton off the bench instead. I've had thoughts about maybe even trying it through the middle and upping the tempo slightly, but I don't really want to do that from the off because it might just be that it was a bad performance. Stuff happens. This will be much better. But I might use that as a sort of platform to build something on, perhaps, should it not go to plan. Uh, one thing we will do, though, is um, set it to next match only and then go attacking, because I do want to go straight from the off out there and try to crack at Stoke. But we have to be better in the tackle. We just give them so much time on the ball and just not putting tackles in um, or not making fouls in good positions as well. Just letting them get closer and closer to our goal and then diving in with tackles. I might even try get stuck in because it might make us foul them a bit earlier and not give away these stupid free kicks or it might cause all sorts of problems i'm tempted to try that for today you know what screw it i probably shouldn't be implementing tactical changes like that just on a whim but at this point what difference does it make we're two nil down we've got to do something I'm gonna keep all my other ideas in my back pocket see how things are after half an hour half time and just kind of go from there if we were to not go up as much as it would suck and it would considering we were that close to going up automatically i still think we'd be one of the favorites to go up next year automatically because we're basically going to have the same squad because i've already got most of the loanies that i want back signed up and ready to go again uh we're going to have new contracts for a lot of players already i don't see us losing anyone particularly so i feel like we could be in a good position with the right recruitment potentially and just players getting better to be an even better side next year because i think tactically we're actually pretty solid it's just that burning and Bur burnley and west ham are just better teams than us unfortunately and we still gave it our best shot but it was the results against worse teams in the end of the day that actually cost us. I just Maybe a tiny bit more squad rotation would be needed. Just a bit more depth, perhaps. I don't know. We'll have to see how we get on today. Besides, I'm talking about it as if we're not going to go through. Maybe we could still go through. It's unlikely, though. So Luca takes it very short. I thought we were supposed to prevent that. But the one thing as well I'm noticing about Stoke, and I think this is, might be part of the reason why we struggled so much against them, is they refuse to play it long. No matter how much we press, they really do not like those long passes. And clearing it randomly to our defenders and a lot of the time that seems to be part of the what a stop that was a great strike that seems to be a lot of the reason why we don't win the ball back as easily against them, because they're not just aimlessly being pressed into giving it up they're able to play through our press much better and i don't know if sitting off is the right idea to kind of cope with that either i think we'll just have to see what we can do in this game but they just look very very good under scott parker at the moment totino particularly looks unbelievably dangerous great tackle from booty though and totino carries it straight out of play but first 13 minutes we've seen nothing from us again it's very much like the last game um without any real changes, to be fair. We just don't look up for it. They look completely devoid of encouragement and desire to actually do anything in this match. Every clearance is just goes straight back to Stoke. We're not like, oh, what an effort. We're just not doing anything with it, unfortunately. No, There's no players to pick up for second balls. It's just nothing. Here we go. Booty's ball around the side. Temanush goes through, and it's over the crossbar, and I think it's saved. No, it's a goal kick. It's somehow got that over from there. Like, it's a chance, but it's not really, and it's from a set piece. Right, that's it. I'm making a change. I'm going to try and go through the middle and bump that tempo up and really try and... I don't know at this point. Something has to be done. But clearly what we're doing against Stoke just is not working. I know we've had that one chance, but that was from a set piece. 
One thing is for sure, we have defended a lot better in this game, but we've shown no more attacking threat than we did in the last one. Uh, or maybe a tiny bit more. Booty. Back for John. Whips it cross, and it's going to be cleared away, and probably even a breakaway potentially for Stoke. Unless they get in each other's way, which they have. Portius now. Oh. Oh, he's hit the cross. He's hit the post. I mean, if that goes in, it's an absolute wonder goal rather than anything special, like, rather than anything we've created amazingly ourselves. But, hey, I wouldn't care. Half time, we are fine. They're trash, but doesn't matter. They're not coming here to win. They don't need to come here and win. We need to win. And we need to score two goals in this second half minimum in order to get through. And that is an enormous ask. We really needed to score an early first half goal. That, that was the key. Score in the first half, put the pressure on Stoke a little bit, force them into actually making some decisions. Right now, we're just letting them sit and do whatever they want, really. Booty. Crossed and nothing. Bringing on Sonny Low Everton for Niall John. And I'm also going to drop O slightly deeper and allow a slightly more dynamic player to try and run at them, perhaps. But I'm kind of running out of ideas at this point. Christian Noble clears it. And Temenushkov will pick this up. There is going to be runners left and right. And he's gone past his man. He's got space. The guy's not going to catch him. But will he be able to go alone? He is, you know. Yes! Bolton won Stoke City nil. Right then, Temenushkov has just single-handedly dragged us back into this game. They're having a fight with the goalkeeper there. They've decided to give up. But he's done so much here. A lot of this is also good work from Low Everton. Distracting that centre-back and preventing him from coming across to cover. But this is still an unbelievable finish at the near post from Kun Temenushkov. That right there could be the catalyst for something magical. But there's still a long way to go here. I've made a couple of changes already, or rather one change. Might make another one, actually. Get Porteous off for Lostak immediately. Oh, it's... No, he's not through. Keeper's going to get that easily. But we've given ourselves hope of something magical. We've got a goal, <laughs> which is something more than I was expecting. Porteous, maybe can he do something before he heads off? And... Yes, come on! Bon to Stoke City 2 on aggregate. And just before he goes off the pitch, Porteous will provide the assist for the equaliser. Out of nowhere, we've scored two in two minutes. It's just an, a, an aimless ball over the top. Temenushkov's nowhere to be seen, but look at this for, I mean, again, bad goalkeeping from the Stoke keeper, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the tie is levelled. What? Because in the 64th and 68th minute have seen us tie this tie up out of nowhere. Temenushkov's individual brilliance, and then just a lovely ball from Portis. Hello? No, Everton's broken the back line. It's a bit too tight of an angle, surely. Yeah, easy save for Sluga, but this is more like it. We are looking very likely to be heading towards extra time here, which... Given the way we were at the start of this game, and even up to half time, I will absolutely take. Um, Temenushkov and Low Everton might well have just given us the faintest sniff of hope. Stoke have done nothing since, well, I mean, what, the 10th minute? Maybe even less. No shots since that tiny little start from them. The momentum's all with us. We must take advantage of it. An extra time period where we play like that and limit Stoke to nothing, surely there will be one chance in this half an hour period. Just one. That's all we need. One opportunity. If it falls to the right player, we can take it, hopefully. How yes, lost that's done well. He's gonna be able to cut inside. Oh, what a ball. What a ball. Temenushkov! Yes! Come on! Bomb three! Stoke City two! Kun Temenushkov makes Oh my lord! Why couldn't we have done that two minutes earlier? Now we've got to wait half an hour to defend it. Terrible defending from um, Stoke here. Lostak does amazingly well. Spots the little gap open up. Temenushkov's in there and he smashes us 3-0 up. We are 3-2 up on aggregate. I'm gonna switch it off of attacking in a second. What? All right, well, I'm going to leave it on attacking then because we've just given away a completely random penalty. Totino steps up for Stoke and he's missed it. Get in there. Oh my God. They've missed the penalty. Stoke have missed the bloody penalty. I've switched it down to positive now. We're not going to keep pushing forward quite as heavily as we were before. Right, we've won the ball back. Temenushkov, I can't believe we got away with that. He's got to find the pass though for Temenushkov. Is the run on? There is the run on. Well played. Has he got any energy left to take on the defender, though, is my question. Oh, he goes past one. Can he go past two? He goes past two! And then passes the ball to someone in a much worse position than him. I can't fathom why he'd do that. But, oh, no, it's the post as well! Half time and extra time. We are winning. Do we still have one more sub? We do. What have I got left? Like, Regan Booty needs to come. Actually, uh, maybe Lewis Bate for Lawrence, just because of the l sheer lack of fitness levels and just having a fresh pair of legs in the center of midfield for the last 15 minutes might just help us out here but i do worry about taking off henry lawrence three minutes away from the playoff final oh oh no no we're going oh just hang on hang on lads you can do this oh my god if we actually turn this around from two nil down in the first leg that would be insane particularly as we were nil nil 
We hadn't scored until half time, till, till like 63 minutes into this match. De Silva, out wide for Regan Booty, just keeping the ball in their end. That's it, Regan. Yes, lad. Oh. Patient. And De Silva! And blocked. That might have been the chance. It's a free kick to Stoke City, but surely we can kill off the final 30 seconds of this tie. We just need to work through 30 more seconds and we will be in the playoff final against all the odds. I don't know what the other scores are uh, between Derby and Birmingham, but I don't really care. Lost that with the foul. That might well be enough. They're going to get one more chance to lump this ball forward if they don't take the... If they take their time, which they are, unless... Wow, they've taken it short. They've taken it short. And that's surely going to do it. Unless they score from this... Literally this exact play. What a tackle. Akin for Maywo has just made a tackle that has just put us into the playoff final. Bolton Wanderers 3, Stoke City 0, and 3-2 on aggregate. They missed a penalty in extra time, and Temenushkov scores a brace. I am absolutely... My throat hurts from commentating on that game. We're into the bloody playoff final. I can't believe we've actually turned that around. Good performance, don't get me wrong. And admittedly, most of that XG for Stoke was their penalty, which they missed, of course. Uh, who are we going to play? Who are we going to play is the question. Well done, lad. That is unbelievable. I don't think I've ever come back from that in a like a playoff tie before. And oh, I mean, Derby go through very comfortably, in fact. Birmingham were doing quite well up until right at the end. But we didn't score the first goal of this tie until the 64th minute. That's insane. I can't believe we pulled that out of the bag. We we did it when it mattered most, except we didn't, because if we'd have done that, we wouldn't be in this position. But I'll tell you what, right? I have a massive amount of confidence in our chances in the final just because of how much we showed to come back from that, frankly. And I cannot wait to share that with you tomorrow. It's going to be Bolton Wanderers versus Derby County in the playoff final for a place in the Premier League. Uh, we were quite good in both games against Bar uh, Derby this season. Stoke, their form was incredible, but they just couldn't keep it going. If you've enjoyed this episode, and I hope you have, drop a like on the video. That'd be tremendous. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. That'd be awesome as well. Uh, I stream on Twitch on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and at the weekend, so go follow there too. And I'll join you guys tomorrow for the, champ not the championship playoff final. Thank you so much for watching. Hold your gun. Capybara. Bye-bye.